Hello all, I did not plan to release any new video today in my YouTube channel. I'm still preparing a new video that is coming soon for a very different domain. But this morning I found a very cool tool in Python that lets you to generate data by mouse. It is a draw data, it is an open source Python library that helps you to generate data just by drawing it out. It allows users to create diverse datasets with different shapes which can help in learning data science and machine learning. Now you can see a github repository of this package and quick instruction how to use it. So don't waste our time and let's go to the practice. So let's go to the terminal. And first of all we need to install draw data package. So pip install draw data and in the seconds we have successfully installed a draw data 0.2 version. So it seems nice and Let's create a directory, this is mine, and then we can to create a Jupyter Notebook uh, file. So this is mine and I creating a new file in this kernel. So the name of my notebook is uh, draw data test. Okay, so let's do it simple, import models and packages. And uh, I'm importing from draw data. Let's try these classes. It is a draw scatter for scatter plot, draw line for line graph, and draw histogram. Let's try these three types of uh, graph for generating a new data. And pandas for checking the data that we will save. So, first of all, let's draw something nice. And let's start from the skater plot, I guess. And for this, I'm using a draw skater. Okay, what is here? It is a very simple graphic user interface. And uh, let's draw something. And from the left, I am going to the right in this way with my mouse. I see the data, some data in this uh, interface. Another variable. Okay, drawing and okay, and variable C is uh, let's try it like this, and variable D is going like this one. It's waving. It's okay. I have four A B C D series of data, and let's try to save it as CSV file. Okay, here's it. I open in the finder, and here's this file. And let's try to check it, what is inside this data file. Okay, I copy into my directory right here. Uh, yes, it's pasting. And uh, for make it simple, I rename it as skater.csv. Then import with pandas. Skater equal to pandas read csv file and skater dot csv so let's check it what is inside this file and it's very interesting so i see x and i axis and z uh, it is name of variable it's very very simple data set very very simple that you can use for your learning purposes for data science project so it's very cool as you can see x and i z is very cool so a second I want to draw line and I want to generate a line data. For this I'm using a draw line method and I see the same interface where I can draw something. This is my first line, the second line should be like this one. And the third line it is for variable b is going down, up, going down. And variable C is going like this. And for variable D is going down like this. Okay. In this way, I want to save it as JSON file. Let's see what, how it looks like in JSON file. Okay, here's my file data.json. Let's check it what is inside this file. Open it with my sublime text and here is it. I see all the data in JSON format, in JSON structure, it's very readable format, so I feel very flexible by using this library. So, and lastly, let's draw a histogram. 
And I, I think you got the logic. So draw a histogram and using the graphic user interface for doing this stuff. So let's draw a histogram and going like this. Second histogram is for B is uh, blue one is like this. And uh, for variable C, the histogram goes down and till the end. And the last histogram for variable D is going to be, uh, yes, starting from here, going to the right and going up. Okay, it's very simple. Just drawing by mouse and saving into CSV file. Okay, I need to check it out what is inside this file. I just copy and paste into my directory to make it simple to read the data and check it to what is inside. So I paste my uh, data set for histogram right here. It is a uh, file that I want to see and it is histogram.csv that I re rename. And let's check it what is inside. So histogram equals to pandas dot, uh, dot read histog uh, not histogram but read CSV file. Yeah, and histogram dot CSV. Yeah, and let's check it what is inside. Oh yeah, you see a very very simple data frame x i and z. And Z correspond to the variable name. In this video, we dropped a scatter plot, we dropped a line graph, and we dropped a histogram. The logic is very simple. You can generate a new dataset in seconds. I hope you found useful here. It is a quite cool stuff that I will use in future uh, personally for my project. So I'm very happy to find it and share it with you. So that's all that I wanted to say today. And before saying goodbye in this video, I just want to announce the next video in my YouTube channel. And the next video will be dedicated for machine learning operations, for MLOps. And then I will talk about the optimal machine learning and data science project, uh, how the structure of this project should be, and uh, how the files inside the project are related with each other, and what is the best way to locate these files in your project uh, structure. Then uh, I will highlight uh, the some points which I mentioned in the last video about how to create a Python module. The same key points will be repeated in the next video, but in more high level. So I suggest you do not skip the next video and see you then. And never stop learning. Bye bye.